welcome. I am Civilian, and we are playing the D Dynasty again because it didn't go well for us last time. Let's be honest. Last time we played uh, which scenario? The the last scenario in the list, which was a Crimson Garland, the 1895 scenario, and that was pretty tough. That did not. Uh, we tried to frame it as a suicide, which I think was just a bit too difficult for our first run. So we ended up getting caught, and that was unfortunate. Uh, so, we're gonna try a different one, and I want to do... Blood will have blood. Yes. 1401. We're gonna do the last one, then the first one, and then we'll maybe do the middle one in another video. And um, we'll play the intro. So hopefully, this one will go a little better than the last one. Maybe. Scottish Highlands, October the 19th, in the year 1382. So 20 years before... Uh, well, 19 years before the start date listed in the menu, so this is something that happened before the start, presumably. How is she? Oh, no, it's a child. How is she? There's nothing more that can be done for your mother, lad. It's a strange thing, almost like she's given up on fighting the sickness. It can't have been easy for her, being abandoned by her new husband like that. I know who we're killing already. I know who we're killing already. Uh, broke her heart. I don't expect she'll last the night. No, that can't be. Stifle those cries. You're a child no longer. It's time for you to become a man. Be a man. It's no easy life being an orphan. You'll need to pack up your things by morning. There'll be a wagon waiting in the courtyard. I guess does he, he's not inheriting the house then. Can't I stay here? No, lad. This house will be reclaimed to pay the remainder of your stepfather's debts. N nice. Nice. I wonder who we're killing. Robert McKinnon. They'll be held to pay if the usurers... Uh, usurers... I do... That is a person who lends money at an unreasonably high rate of interest. There you go. How do I say that? Usurer. 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 It's a usurer. Person who lends money. Okay. They'll be held to pay if the usurers catch up with him. Then where will I go? The monks of Bully Priory have agreed to take you in. They'll treat you well enough so long as you can earn your keep. Now go and say your farewells to your mother, lad. Bye, Mom. Bye. Um, don't worry, I'll come with stepfather. I'm on it. I got this. <laughs> uh, I bet that she's gonna... These games like to really hammer home that the person you're killing deserves to die. Like I care. Um, so I, I reckon that our mother here is gonna give us a big talk about how our stepfather's a bad person, just really hammer it home. It's all my fault, I should've known that, but yeah, that man was a scoundrel and never married him. Couldn't stop him from squandering your fortune or violating your father's memory. You must remember your father, William, your real father, you come from the proud and noble line of Bruce. Swear to me that you will always remember that. I swear it, mother, there is one more thing you must promise. When you come of age, you must find the cowardly wastrel who destroyed our family. Find that husband of mine and make him pay for everything he did. Okay, I will do it, mother, I promise. Yes, you will, my brave, sweet William. Yes, I'm a good boy. I'll kill the man for you, mother. I'll kill him. I'm like that guy in that horror film who kills for his mother. Except it was the mother doing the murders. Jason. I'll be Jason. I'm not William anymore. I'm rebranding. Okay. Uh, Bowie Priory, Scotland, February the 10th in the year 1401. Okay, I'm a grown-up now. I'm a big boy and I'm ready to do my first murder. Presumably my first. Maybe I've been getting in some practice over the years. I found him, mother, just as I said I would. 20 years. Has it really taken me so long? I hope you aren't disappointed. Robert Wolsey is the name he chooses to bear these days. He's living in England as a member of the King's Privy Council. Can you believe it? When you believe him, he could. When you met him, he could barely scrape two shillings together. Now he is wealthy beyond reckoning, and the governor of the Isle of Wight. Nice. I wonder how many other poor souls yet to destroy to obtain that position. No matter, his wealth and prestige will not protect him from my vengeance. From our vengeance, mother. The men of this priory have been good to me, but the time has come for me to do as I promised. There is a heresy spreading in Britain. It has taken root here in Bully, where even the prior himself is a follower. My sources tell me that Wolsey has taken a particular interest in rooting out this heresy. I wrote him a letter expressing my support. It was enough to secure an invitation to his family estate in the country of Yorkshire. The county of Yorkshire. Why is he in Yorkshire if he rules the Isle of Wight? Ah, that's probably how things were in the olden times. You don't need to see the peasants to rule them. 
Uh, once there, I must find a way to bring about his end. I will be careful. I know that you would not want your only son to find himself on a headsman's block. Someone else must pay the price. Okay. No amount of prayer could bring you back, mother, but you will be avenged. So, I think where we went wrong last time was trying to, you know, make this a bit victimless. Do the suicide thing. We're just going to pick the nicest person we can find and frame them. Because they'll probably be the easiest. Because I'm going to get away with it this time. I will make this selfish unthrift pay for what he did to our family. Ah, Woolsey House. Yorkshire, England. Oh, it's a new map. Dusk is fast approaching by the time you arrive at the Woolsey Estate. Weary guardsman has ushered you through the outer gate and into the large courtyard beyond. The deed must be done tonight after dinner. You should converse with the other guests and residents and learn their weaknesses and locate some evidence to use against them. As expected, the guards searched your person before you entered the estate, so you must also find a fitting murder weapon while you are here. Choose two items. Dinner starts when you choose the second item. So, you know, standard rules. Let's go talk to this person. A horse is a vain thing for safety, so the Lord tells us. On the other hand, high women pay little heed to scripture. You must be William Bruce, I suppose. The governor mentioned you would be coming. I am Simon of Bremsgrave. Myself and my travelling companion, Mother Burns, come here often to tutor the governor's daughter. Though I suspect that tonight he has another reason altogether for inviting us here. I don't suppose you know anything about it. Um, all I know is I wrote him a letter. Yeah, that's all I know. Uh, he does love his letters. In fact, that's came to how I came to know him as well. Good, that's not a suspicious thing. Um, I... I think I maybe I should be honest that I was here about the spread of heresy. Because then I'll, like, be on side with him. Because uh, maybe this guy's talking about something similar. I, I can probably frame someone if I talk about heresy. I was talking about the spread of heresy in Scotland. The Wycliffe heresy, I take it. Yes, there are a great many adherents in the country of Ayrshire, I understand. Interesting. I hadn't realised they had spread so far north. In truth, I would hope that a Scottish king might give them more freedom to discuss their ideas openly. No matter, I probably shouldn't speak of such things. What would you like to discuss? Tell me about uh, Mother Burns. Woman of strong faith and extremely knowledgeable herbalist. Herbalist? Why do the novices di dislike her? Let's ask about the negative things. She's stern when there's any transgression from the younger nuns. Uh, what she did to a particular nun who became pregnant and died in childbirth, what did she do? Uh, buried face down as a symbol of condemnation and then the child was uh, buried between the mother's legs in the same grave. That is unpleasant. Okay, let's, well, she's a target to frame because if we did poison, like herb poison, we could blame her. Tell me about the governor's daughter, uh, Eliza. She's a gifted child. Probably can't pin a child uh, with murder. Um, tell me about the trouble. I want to know about the bad things. She challenged uh, a young son to a round of dueling with wooden swords. She got angry and bloodied the boy's nose. Nice. She sounds like a classy lady. And tell me about the governor. Uh, many interesting discussions, enlightened him. Okay, let's uh, let's go. So we, we've been open about the heresy thing, so we need to remember to ourselves that we've been... Can I put him in the well? Oh, I want to put the man in the well. Um, so I might as well be open. Uh, let's see, working with the monk's possessions. Small mace. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. uh, so if we wanted to frame this guy, we could take the mace. And it sounds like this guy is a little bit heretical, perhaps. This is of interest. Hello, the steward. Can I frame you, other guests? Spo yeah, I've spoken to Brother Simon, Rather Reverend Mother Mary Burns, Sir John de Ashton. Uh, cool, we're going to go talk to everyone. See who looks the most like a sucker. Uh, Alice. Okay. So he's the steward. Have a little... Not much longer now. The guests have all arrived. This meal ought to be ready by now. Can't make the stew cook any faster, not without ruining the flavour. Don't talk back to me, impudent girl. Make sure the meal is ready within the hour or there will be consequences. Oh, he's a bad man. Let's not frame him. Curse upon that man. Oh, she's resentful. Maybe we can frame her. Hello, sir. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Guess I can't talk to you while you're walking. Sup? 
hey, you're doing the cooking. Uh, are you a resentful servant? I am one of the dinner guests. Uh, you're from Scotland. I just finished reading Chronicle of a Night. Two spent time in your country. They're really still savages in the Highland Mountains. Do your people truly uh, worship and fear strange spirits? No, we are Christians. Aren't you? I'm a good person and I would never kill anyone. Because I am a good Christian that would never murder. Um, only don't ask the Reverend, Reverend Mother. Ask Brother Simon if you must. Uh, why should I not ask the Reverend Mother? She's never liked me, I'm not sure why. And how do you feel about her? I really shouldn't say. Let's talk about something else. Can I help you with something else? Yeah, let's talk about the Reverend Mother. <laughs> I know you didn't want to talk about her. Uh, she likes mulberry gin. Uh, she grows mulberries and fruits and herbs. Perhaps I should have been a nun. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty good life. Um, do you reckon... Who's this Sir John and can I frame him for murder? I've never spoken to him much. He's far too high of a noble. Ah, oh, sounds like ever. What about the steward? He's very kind. Taught me a great deal about how to keep... Oh, you're lying. You're, you're lying. When to be stern? Uh, he's sometimes stern with you. Only when I make silly mistakes and he happens to be in a bad mood. Aww. Oh. I mean, not that he is a bad mood often in a bad mood often i don't mean to say anything bad about him truly let's talk about something else okay uh let's leave okay um the the monk guy out there seems nice actually i want to talk about him i want to frame him maybe with his mace he visits with the reverend mother every now and then and they tutor a little bit of tension when he's here uh why do you feel tension he and the governor respect aha Aha! Aha! Right, okay. Uh, I think, let's just commit now. We're framing Brother Simon. Um, we'll need a weapon and a bit of evidence. Uh, Celebro is uh, dark and drafty. You don't want to be down there. Okay, well, let's explore down here. Uh, household chores. What's this? Religious texts. Uh, well-educated servants. Was this heavy sex? Candles. Is this mulberry wine? Oh, <laughs> I think being drunk would help me enormously at present. A uh, large pair of boots and a man's tunic. This is Nicholas. Okay, candle. Man, they leave all the candles lit when they're not here. Crazy. Wrinkled shirt and spare shoes. So he's a messy man. Anything in the bed? No. Okay. So we need a thing to frame the dude. This is Alice's. What's up, Alice? Uh, red ribbon. Love letter. Hmm. Huh. After Nicholas has turned in for the night. The governor. Okay, the governor's having an affair. No. But if I wanted, like, is is there a wife involved? Maybe she could do the murder? Um, I think we're gonna focus on framing the, like, religious dude, though. He just seems like a nice monk. He was nice to me. So let's frame him. Uh, for his religious disagreements should be pretty easy to set up. Hello! Uh, I want to talk about Brother Simon. Uh, he has reputation, a little rough around the edges, decent enough. Uh, what about his past? Um, he used to be a ruffian for hire. Oh! Oh, he's the perfect, perfect way to frame. Yes, his mace. Hmm... Hmm, <laughs> I have a target. <laughs> Delightful. Okay, uh, yep, we're in the upper floor, so let's have a little look around, see what we can find. Some kind of guest chamber. Ah, a little dagger. No, I do not take the dagger. I leave the dagger. I need to find some evidence. Probably if they've been corresponding in his study. Aha! A chapel. The polished wooden cross on its stone pedestal sends a chill through my bones. Hello! Are you... Oh, I'm sorry. 
uh, Mary Burns. I'm very sorry. I have many friends in the Church of Scotland. To which parish do you belong? Uh, Bully Priory in the Highlands. Uh, one prior Thomas presides over their order, if I'm not mistaken. I know the name quite well. Are you a friend of prior Thomas? Um, he is like a father to me. He's a good man. Oh, okay. She doesn't like that. Um, tell me about Brother Simon. Yes, he's a good man if soft. He can't afford to be meek and gentle in times like these. Oh, you know how I wasn't supposed to ask about the servant girl? Tell me about the servant girl. Too well. Little daggle-tailed street wench. Uh, why do you call her that? Oh, I know everything about what she used to get up to before the governor took her off the streets. My sisters and I used to perform charity for the poor wretches of York, and Alice was naming you very well indeed. For a time she worked in a hall house, and that's when she, she wasn't busy picking pockets, and that's just the start of it. I told him all about it when he took her in, but he wouldn't listen to reason. It's a wonder she hasn't made off with his silver already. I don't wish to discuss her any further. Okay, goodbye. You pray. You pray nice. Good. Reverend Mother, a few possessions. Uh, she travels light. Okay, what's this? This is praying. Uh, silver chalice. If I was a thief. Okay, so if I was going to frame the servant girl, I'd maybe take the chalice. And then, because she's like, oh, it's a miracle she hasn't taken off with the silver already. It would be like a good framing thing. Hello. Uh, I'm William Bruce. Hello, Sir John. Uh, nice to meet you. Um... Uh, I have many noble ancestors. Yes, I do. I'm Charlemagne himself. Ooh, no, no lands or, uh, yeah, that was my misfortune. Um, yes, <laughs> let's not dwell on that. I need, I don't need, to, I don't want to see like a res seem like a resentful person because that's going to be bad for my rap. Tell me about Brother Simon. Unfortunately, oh, you don't like him. Wouldn't let him in my house. You think he's dangerous then? Let's ask some leading questions. Uh, he harbors dangerous ideas. He's soft on heresy. Oh, okay. Um, no, that's it. I'm just trying to blame him now. <laughs> Ooh, the cabinet. Study in private meeting room. The letter. Let's see. It comes to my attention. You own significant debt to my household. Unfortunate for if I was take for the measures to retrieve the money. Ah, okay. There's a threatening letter. Um, in the governor's handwriting. So that's maybe if we wanted to frame Sir John, we'd do the the threatening letter. Because then it'd be like, oh, you owe money to him. <gasps> the years have not changed him much. Hello, sir. Ah, William Bruce, I assume you look just as I pictured you. Greetings, Governor Wolsey. I'm so glad you could join us for dinner tonight. There are so many things to discuss. Regardless of any history between our two countries, we are all Christians and must face the threat of heresy together. Uh, I want you to see this as an opportunity to meet my friends and family. Oh, he's so nice. We're going to kill him. Um, uh, let's see. The church is my family. I was raised by the monks of the Priory. I would explain why you're a man of such strong faith. It will take men like us to combat this evil in our church and put a stop to it. I am a good religious man. What would never kill no one else? Uh, we must give no quarter to heretics. Yes. We must stamp out heresy by any means necessary before it grows in strength. Yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> the monk's gonna kill you. Okay, so I want to just have a little rifle through. Oh, I want to... Want to look at his things. Scholars of the church. If life is a burden, then death is freedom from it. If life is punishment, then death is a deliverance. He's so philosophical about these things. Okay, I want to touch his things. Collection of volumes. Heretics be altogether uprooted by death. This is not contrary to our Lord's command, which is to be understood as referring to the case when the cockle cannot be plucked up without plucking the wheat. Okay, we're going to kill some heretics. Uh, unauthorized translations from the Holy Bible, outlawed text for study. Hmm. That is very interesting. That's potentially something we could use to frame implements of torture. Whoa, a heretic's fork and a cat paw. Hmm. 
This is a heretic's fork. That that looks horrifying. That's that's terrible. I like this man. <laughs> Well, that is what I get for googling cat's foot. What about the torture device? Okay. There's a claw thing. I guess it's just a claw thing? Okay, so this, this, the cat's foot. It looks like they just, they clawed at people with this big spiky thing. Uh, so that's, that's the cat's foot. So this man is a man of culture. Aha, a leather satchel with... Uh, pain without leaving much physical evidence, which could raise some interesting questions. Okay. I want to explore all of our options before I commit to anything. So we might have to come back here after dinner to read his personal correspondence, because I think everyone will have shifted then. Uh, let's go see the daughter, perhaps? Hello. Hey, Eliza. Well, we can't frame her, really. Uh, lock of red hair, probably the girl's mother. Mm, leave that. Ornate chest. I wonder if you could frame the daughter. We're probably not going to. I don't even want to talk to her, to be honest. Actually, no, I do want to talk to her. Let me talk to you about this weird monk. Hello, I'm William Bruce. William Bruce. for fun lots of things hide and seek or racing alice ride horses and fight silly tutors i want to talk about brother simon is he shady do you get along with your father yep 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 you do brother simon is quite tall uh, okay well you're boring bye i think framing a child would be impressive even for me <laughs> considering how badly wrong it went last time i don't think i'm gonna try and do that this time Oh, beautiful view. Can I push him off? So the time has come to do the framing. So we're going to use the mace and I think we'll do the we'll try the bible. I think. Uh, yeah. So in here uh, unauthorized translations, outlawed texts. So that probably makes him look like a heretic. I don't know, actually, I've already taken it, but let's Google. Wycliffe heresy. So it's this guy. There was a guy, and he was a heretic, and other people probably followed him. Oh, the Lollard movement, uh, precursor to Protestant and characterize. Aha, translation of the Bible. So yeah, the translated Bible we picked up. <laughs> I should have looked this up before I did. I was like, eh, it seems like something we'd use. Uh, the, the, the translated Bible is what we can use to pretend that the monk guy is a heretic and murdered him because they argued anyway perfect hello have i talked to you about brother mm -hmm. simon i have okay good bye <laughs> i think i've talked to everyone about him because i've decided quite early on that that's who i was framing hello sir have i spoken to you about your relationship with the governor and all that yeah, okay, cool. Cool, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for this. So, I want your mace, sir. Dinner time! May I see your new horse after we finished at the table, Brother Simon? Of course, child, as long as you clear your plate. How old is he? Is he a war horse? Has he been in many battles? 
quiet down, Eliza. Don't pester him with your childish questions. But I just silence. I've had quite enough of this silly preoccupation with horses and battles and such things. Now we just chill. So, Robert, are you going to tell us why you've really asked us here this evening? Patience is a virtue, Brother Simon. However, since we are all here, we might as well get to it. As some of you are aware, I am a close friend of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Arundel. I met him while he was serving as the Archbishop of York, and we found that we shared a great deal in common with one another. Once I have returned from the Isle of Wight and seen out my, the final days of my governorship, I will be serving as his right hand in a new mission. What mission exactly? I will be serving in the office of oh, Hereticae Privati, uh, Privatatis Inquisitor. Inquisitor of Heretical Improprieties. Yes, well, that's a fairly heretic... Her Hereticae is heretical. Well, that makes sense. I've never heard of such an office. It's new. I made it. Things are going to change in our country. Parliament will pass a law allowing the church to arrest anyone suspected of heresy if they fail to renounce their heretical beliefs. They will be burned at the stake. As an example to others. King Richard never allowed that. His Majesty is not Richard. Who is the king in 1401? I don't know. England King timeline I'm spending half my time in the game half my time in Google so that's good oh I clicked on Richard uh, yeah so it's Henry the fourth one of the least fam famous of the Henry's Henry Henry the th these Henry's these are the famous Henry's these are the boring Henry's uh, I don't know if they were that boring I'm not that good at history Anyway, he's grateful. Yay. Oh, they've just mentioned his name. Now I know it's a Henry. Oh, if I just waited. Burn the heretics. Should I get involved here? No. No, I don't want to... I don't want to... Implicate myself. We're going to help root out the heresy. Yes, I will do it. Uh, heretics are only the beginning of the problem. What is your opinion on the existence of witchcraft? Um, hmm... Should I defer to Simon? I don't want to lend him cre credibility, but uh, maybe I'll get the Reverend Mother on side if I ask what she thinks. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to defer to Brother Simon. He is more of an authority on the matter, I'm sure. Uh, witches and demons can work magic as an error of the pagans. They can be formed only through the power of God. Uh, okay, let's make him look shady. Witches can perform miracles. Uh, but beyond human understanding, but not beyond the power of God. Okay, what does all, have all this have to do with heresy? Does it not seem to you that witchcraft is the ultimate form of heresy? Are we going to burn some witches? Oh, that sounds fun. Let's punish people. I honestly, I don't want to kill this guy. I want to get involved. You feel unqualified to speak on the matter. Ooh. Uh... Look, can I press him? I think you should sp speak up, Brother Simon. You should, yeah, you should speak up. The only demons I haven't known have resided within the hearts and souls of men. Ooh. Ooh, let's make him seem shady. Even you, Brother Simon, you've never been afraid to speak your mind about your portrait. I'm glad you think so. Uh, yep. Uh... Absolutely, we're going to stamp out this heresy. Yes, righteous. I'm on your side. We're all good Christians. Yep, 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 yep. I am so on your side. I am going to smash your face in with a mace. <laughs> oh, I bet he's on the roof. I bet that's what the roof thing's for. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to plant... His, his stuff's all in the courtyard, so we're going to go plant the, the translated Bible. And, uh, kill a dude. So let's do that. Yeah, it says here. Illegal Bible translations by Wycliffe. Yup. 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 Ah, oh, he stands close to the edge of the balcony. After 20 years of waiting, the moment has finally arrived. Now is not the time to make any mistakes. Mash that man with a mace. And if I make it out, 
So they'll, assuming there's a countdown, oh, this music's so intense. Assuming there's a countdown timer, we're going to flee. Well, I don't want to flee to someone's bedroom because that'll look weird. So I might just flee to the prairie room. Yeah, or maybe just downstairs. Then people will see me downstairs. Let's kill him with a mace. Woo! Smack the man with the mace. Wait, no! You silence him with a second harder strike, which caves in his skull, but not before his cries for mercy have already been heard below. You need to get out of here. Okay. Bolt! Flee! Flee! Four, three, two, one. Oh! Someone is coming. Hello? Did I get caught too close? Did you hear that? Uh... Did you hear that? Uh, something came from the tower. I didn't hear anything at all. Maybe your mind is playing tricks on you. Better go investigate all the same. Oh no! Okay, so maybe I didn't have long. Maybe I could have got further away. God, Robert! How could this have happened? Who could have done this? It's not for us to determine. Who is the sheriff? Let's get the sheriff. Nicholas? My apologies, Brother Simon. I'm just a little shaken. Uh, we got a sheriff. He's at York Castle. Okay, let's go get the sheriff. Cool. Oh yeah, okay, we'll do that. Welcome, my lord. I wish I could say I was pleased to see you. Nicholas, Sir John, and who might you be? This is William Bruce, a friend of the governor. William Bruce, can't say I've ever heard of you. Um... I am nobody of consequence. Uh, I'm not a great lord like yourself. Let's flatter him. We are cultured. Nice. Uh, he's outside seeing to the horses. Eliza is here. The Reverend Mother is here. And Alice is here. We're all present time at the murder. Yes, we've been here all evening. I see. Everyone should be in one room. Is there somewhere smaller on the upper floor, perhaps? So because the brother found me, he found me like kind of, I feel like we were both in that corridor. We could each say we saw the other in the corridor. We... We don't, we don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's gather everyone together there, search everyone, search all of our persons. I dropped the mace at the scene of the crime, so that's good. I nearly managed to get all the way downstairs. It was so close. It would have been perfect. That, if, if I come undone due to that, I'll be very sad. How is the girl? She's resting now, though I doubt she will find peaceful sleep for some time. Poor child. Let her rest for now. I have questions for her later. First of all, I would like to run through the events of the day with each of you. Each of you had the opportunity to slip away to the top of the tower at some time shortly after dinner. William Bruce, you are the outsider here. Um, I suppose that makes sense. I would do the same thing in your position. Very good. I have no idea who you are. Tell me. Uh, so, I was raised by monks uh, after mother died. I think I've told people I was raised by monks. Um, yes, I have no status. Um, I wrote him a letter regarding heresy. I've already, I've already talked to him. Yeah, I told you that earlier. Yes, I knew he would be interested in the matter. I see. Um, yeah, before dusk. Uh, ooh, how do I implicate him? Hmm. You said that they wished they had more freedom. Well, yes. Um, yes, so it does sound bad out of context. It's almost like I'm doing a thing here, dude, and you haven't realized it yet. Okay, uh, we spoke about the Reverend Mother in her priory. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, that's right, I don't need to implicate her. Um, we spoke uh, about Eliza. Yes, we did. I don't need to implicate Eliza. Uh, I greeted him, told him where to find the other guests, spoke a little, little about Brother Simon. Um, you said he always carries a mace with him, didn't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't own up to that, dude. He was killed with a mace. But, uh... Yes, that's right. Let's move on. Spoke to William. Uh, book about the Scottish people. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. Talked about Brother Simon. Yeah, sometimes you heard uh, raised voices. Heated discussions. Ooh. Uh, Nicholas, 
Uh, yeah, we talked about Nicholas. Okay, uh, ran into William. Thank goodness I, did, goodness I didn't talk to everyone about everyone, because this bit would be taking forever. Um, we, uh... Did I tell anyone that a scoundrel squandered our fortune? I don't think I was specific to anyone. I'm gonna say we made some poor investments. Uh, yeah, that could happen to any family, nothing to be ashamed of. Cool. Uh, talk to Brother Simon. You said he had some dangerous ideas. Um, I might have had idle suspicions. Uh, that was all we talked about. Cool. Uh, we spoke. Um, he came from the Priory, and yeah, I did say I was friends with, uh, um, ah, uh, ah, uh, I didn't know he was a heretic when I agreed to that. Um, he, no, he's not. I know he's, I know him, he's, I know he's no heretic, can't take your word for it. Um, yeah, we did, and that was it. Cool. Nope, that was it. Cool! Yes, uh, yeah, I did talk to the governor. Um, we spoke about the heretics, uh, and how they should be punished. Um, we agreed that no punishment is too severe, because we're, we're on this, the same page, because we're best friends, and I would never murder him. Uh, let's see. Dinner, Eliza was pestering Brother Simon. Governor told us that Parliament's about to pass a, a new law to allow the burning of heretics. So John seemed quite in favour of the idea. Yes. Um, moved on to witchcraft. Believed in witches. I asked Brother Simon what he thought. Uh, and yep, he said some... Oh, damn it. I let him have a say and he said some good things. So I shouldn't have done that. Uh, okay. Um, yes. Good. You had concerns about what the governor was planning to do. Yes, you did. Cool. I, I am eager to stamp out heresy. Yeah, and then uh, he died. Uh, no, I hadn't heard anything. Yes, I was, oh, that's maybe suspicious. Um, talk to the death. Uh, yes, it was, it was fine. It's my mace. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we've done enough. We've definitely made a few mistakes here. We should have said we heard a noise. That would have made more sense. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, no need to explain the letter. Uh, it doesn't give her any reason to kill the man. Yes, Reverend Mother. Okay. Uh, planted evidence. Right, Wycliffe's writings. Hmm. Uh, let's see if we did enough. <laughs> you had nothing to do with it. Uh, right. You're mistaken. Okay, he's heard enough. Oh! Come on! Oh, okay. Mmm, damn it. Come on! I know we made mistakes. I didn't realise that the guy in Scotland was a heretic. I didn't flee enough. Oh, dear. oh no wait. Who's he putting in chains? Why is the Reverend Mother upset? She wouldn't be upset if I was in chains. Did I misread something? I was flicking through it. I've probably been done for this. Yeah. Um yeah, it was it was me. Uh yeah. Okay. Right, well, I'm just not very good at this game. <laughs> it's hard to do it blind. You just, you agree to things like, oh yeah, I'm friends with this guy. And then they're like, ah, oh, he was a heretic. And I'm like, oh, well that is, um, this is a nasty execution. Uh, angry English crowd. Yay, gruesome spectacle. Um, oh well, my mother's dead at least. Uh, I have no regrets. Oh dear. Well, we tried. <laughs> that did not go well. 
I uh, I think it was the fleeing at the end and pretending we hadn't heard the noise. That was a real lash up. And also being friends with a heretic was a real lash up. Um, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Another failure for me at the Deed Dynasty. But we learned a lot of things along the way. So thank you for watching. I've been civilian and maybe we'll try and fail less next time. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>